back to the channel. I uh, got a PD call in for somebody up here on Luzerne. Uh, I think it was an F-150, I think that's what they said. Oh my goodness. Um, off the side of the mountain up here. I'm gonna see if we can get up here and help out. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we are at the top of the world, so things can get bad real quick. It says we're about a minute away. Luzerne, Ski Mountain, we're up uh, close to the to uh, over Gatlinburg and the ski lift. Switch backs. I see lights. Was your side thing already gone over here? Yeah, it was gone. Okay. Extra part. Ooh, that's close. I don't know. I don't think there's any damage. That's not worth that good. So did you did you drive down into it or did you slide into it? Slide. You slid into it from the road over there? You'd like to think they'd slow before they hit that, but you never know. <laughs>
come down just a little bit. I might rehook for a low pull. Yeah, I'll be I'll probably be better to hook for for a low pull too. But then we'll turn I'll turn the wheel after that. gonna be a bear Catching? Catching this over here. Okay. Um, hopefully I can come forward. Get it steered. I might, I might try to block some of that just to get the tension off of it. Cause it's pretty deep. I might come back forward so it'll go. Give me a little more block space. Yeah. I think it'll climb those. 
Hopefully. I'll probably just have to pull forward and see if we can get it to skate over there. We might be able to turn hard, uh, hard left. Want me to do that while you're pulling? Running boards up. I think I got a seatbelt hook, hopefully. Should be enough to clear the door. Yeah. So I guess how is someone able to like help us lock so we don't do it again? No one so I see how y'all will park it up here. Yeah, we'll we'll make sure you so get it. Yeah, no problem. Can you give us any tips? Because now I'm like petrified dude. Um there's not a place to turn around if there is there. Uh there's a full end up here, but be a tight squeeze. Who we um yeah because she's not even if she gets up here i don't think she'd be able to make that turn to come back out right. yeah unfortunately it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be backed in i don't know how many times you got to come and go is there there's nothing else close is there and you know if i was you guys i probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't back all the way up. I'd just keep it, I'd just get right here. Just as long as your front end's out of the road, that way you guys are not trying to navigate that back there. Yeah, I think you guys will be okay. Let me get some stuff unhooked. I'll make sure you're back in there though. I think there's a little area. I think on that side. And, <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah, we've got, we've got ravines on both sides, so it's, yeah, I don't blame you. I've got it back in park. I'm just, I'm just going to ease forward. Yep. Yeah, it looks good.
How's the mailman reach that? <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> it's like underground. Um, I'm in four low if you don't. No, I can make it. I'm fine there. I'll pop over. It's fine. No, I got, I got plenty of room. Are you clear? Oh, yeah. I do too, yeah. I, because it's just gonna be a whole lot worse if you guys are trying to trying to maneuver up here. I'd be afraid that you'd bump you'd bump something. How much does that put you? How do you and get out? <laughs> so you, like you really think that the backwards is the best way? I do, I do. Um <laughs> just have somebody out watching you. If if you're well, driving, we you're backing. We, believe it or not, we did this time. Did this time too. Okay. <laughs> No, sir. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. You too. I've got 13 minutes, YouTube. 13 minutes on an SD card. And I thought I would share a little Smoky Mountains with you. We just did that recovery over there. That F-150. and uh, These cabins have an awesome view. So we're still up here. Uh, Luzerne 1467. Lazerne and uh, yeah, any, any of these three or probably four or five, I think there's two more, but amazing view up here. I think you guys would like it. Rolling through the spur. We're down here close to the National Park. Thought I'd give you guys the old dark blue skies. It's about to it's about to turn loose another thunderstorm, I believe. But uh we heard some thunder rolling. We've got the sky bridge over here to our left that the tree is now blocking. But uh there it is. This is, you ride that little tram to the top from, uh, yeah, from the lift right here. That's where you get on at. And then, Ober Gatlinburg. That's for Ober Gatlinburg. Yeah, and then the second one for the Sky Bridge, you ride that one up back there. Are they walking across? I don't, I don't know what they're doing. They're oh. taking pictures of somebody. Oh, it's the bear. The bear over there. You see the bear over there? Oh. Got a bear downtown Gatlinburg. He's big. He's going to chase some people. He's going to get hit.
cooking and they're gonna come down here and they're gonna roam the sidewalks with you so it's just a it's just a thing uh, it's a thing that we have to endure so but anyway guys uh, we're headed down to the end hopefully there's no more bear excursions but stay tuned we'll see uh, the battery yeah they pulled it okay all right all right Over here on Glades. Oh goodness. There's some blood in here. Lots. That's not good. Looks like they went against the tree. damage on the side. Looks like there's a baby seat in there. Hopefully the baby wasn't in there. So they came off of Glades Road up there. See the tire tracks. The tire tracks go all the way up in between. Right up through there. off a blaze. Watch it, there's blood in there. I would love to get in there too, Well, I can try. Do we have keys? Yeah.
Yeah, we had Lee. They're down in the river over on the spur fishing wheels and tires out the other day. You just you know, never we, know. We just had one too. Did y'all get it too? Huh, we got one up in the park. No, huh, we just got the one by Westgate. So yeah. that must have been. We must have missed that one. Yeah, they, we had a pursuit in the park. Oh man! And they had to tow it out. Yeah, see, that's crazy. So I picked up all everything down through here. We appreciate you, thing. man. You did the hard work. I, I don't know which damn tree. I think I'm gonna it's got to you know, be I almost, that. I almost thought that he hit that telephone pole. You know? But I can't find nothing on that telephone pole except for the lights out, and that light was out before a blaze. I bet you that back tire, when it hit, this is the deepest part. I bet it just smacked off of smacked that. Smacked off the side of it. I don't know how anywhere he didn't roll that thing over. That's the steepest. Or end up in them. Both of them got out of the car and ran around to this side. And I figured they picked something, but God, during, during the, I can't find it. <laughs> if, they yeah. did, if they did, it's yeah, it's nasty. It yeah, could, be, could be in this grass somewhere, but it's hard to say. But if it's in this grass, man, I lost a, a hubcap in this stuff and couldn't find it. And it's a big hubcap. About right. About right there. Yep. So they ran out around this way. So if you had something in your hand, you'd either throw it under the car or you'd throw it up on this thing. Yeah, he'd be real close. He'd be right there. Of course, that's the thickest part of it, too. Yeah. I think it's just drinking. He's drunk as a monkey. Is he? Yeah. That's probably what it was then. He said, he said, I'm going to try to get out of here. Wow, they're lucky. It's like, why? It's like a nightmare. Well, if, it's, if he's several times chasing, he definitely didn't want to. <laughs> he definitely didn't want to get caught. All right, I guess we're off to, to the lot. You be safe, man. Try to rest that rib cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thought I had a shoot in the car. Have you? It looks like a rock from the rock. Yeah. You guys got some big knobby tires on them things. They probably make all kinds of noise. Oh, I can knock these tires. I bet it's either one of them. Drop a board, it doesn't get so. Yeah, those, those will be the challenge. I was talking to your, the bicycle guy. He said he said he hadn't had air conditioning all year. He finally got air conditioned yesterday. Is this the same? Same, man. I ain't got air I got air conditioner all summer. How do you survive, man? It's like, like you feel me. I'm soaking wet. I guarantee it. Rain. We'll get out, and I, I'm begging for air to get back in the truck because, man, it don't take 10 minutes. Heat flows, no air. The heat will come out of the Dodge stuff is oh, hateful. <laughs> we'll try to stay cool, brother. See you, man. Is that hood got to stay down? Probably not. No air conditioning in the cop car. Come on. What? Get these guys some AC, man. Oh, my goodness. How he avoided all those trees. Just went right down in between them all, didn't he? Yeah. Right Off in the, the road, road, right there. Just missed the curve. Come around that corner right there, top of that hill. Mm -hmm. It's raining. You can't out. Why? Why would you want to try to outrun? Desperate, desperate times, I guess. Anyway, yes. hey, again, shout out to the Gatlinburg Police. You guys are amazing, mm -hmm. keeping us safe. You know, I, just a short talk with that officer. He, they'd already been up in the park doing a chase. And imagine pursuing somebody on these roads. No. Up in the national park. Absolutely or, not. That's got to be terrifying. So, yeah. hats off to hats off to the Gatlinburg PD. You guys are tough as nails, keeping keeping the roads safe. Uh, I hope that officer gets his uh, his rib healed up there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but we're off, guys, to uh, impound over here. Or actually, this is coming to our lot. So he said the. Uh,
passenger is probably going to want to come in there and get stuff. The driver went to jail. They finally caught him. So that's a good deal. But anyway, we'll see you guys at the lot. See if we can get that window up. Probably. Got about 18 inches. Maybe they'll call us. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are headed over to our lot. Um, got grandma and grandpa and the wife of the fellow that decided to drink and drive and outrun the police last night. Uh, they're here waiting on us at the gate. Not sure what this will entail, but uh, let's see what we got. Sir, how are you? I could be better. <laughs> it sounds like it. He made some bad decisions last night, I think. Uh, very bad. Yeah. Somebody is on his side, though. If you'd have seen the uh, trees that he went down in between. Was that right there in that corner right there? I came up that way from the rear. Yeah, he slid down in between and bounced off a few of the trees right down in between that last corner right there before the... Um, 
the pottery community yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, where they moved out. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. He uh, somebody is definitely on his side. I have no idea how he how he managed to do such. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, can she? She's got her work stuff in there. She's can gonna... I grab like stuff out of there? I, I guess you're registered yes. owner. Yeah, I have my actual license in there. I just. Yeah, as long as you're, as long as you're, I mean, you're married to him, so yeah. <laughs> I well, guess. I didn't it, know I brought everything. Just yeah, no, I appreciate that because we, yeah, we have to. It has to be the registered owner right, before right. we can release stuff too. Uh, and I saw that there was some strollers and things like that. Hey, we were super excited. There were no kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you'll probably have to go to the passenger side. I put crash wrap so we keep the rain out of this yeah. side. Yeah, that one. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Like I said, it still ran and drove. Uh, something is going on up here with this suspension. I think maybe this back wheel is, uh, it's wadded up anyway. It's got all of that stuff in there. Yeah. And it looked like it was leaking something. Uh, sure. It got that, uh, that kind of, some of that popped back out, but it looked like it was, uh, like it was leaking something. I guess it got probably the corner of the radiator. Yeah. I think it probably did. Young, dumb, and 21 is good. He's, uh, he's a very lucky man. Man, the guy he was with is bad influence on him. But it's his decision, you know? Well, they let that guy go, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and come to find out, he was drunk before they even got in there. Ah, uh, no. I guess he, he's, uh, I guess he, he lived a couple apartments down from him. Gotcha. I don't know. I just... Can I open the hood on there? Yeah, it's, it's popped, I think. She's waiting to hear from her insurance company. Okay. The guy was out, of course. <laughs> we pulled the battery because it's got airbag deployer yeah. deployed, so we didn't want it, we didn't want it to burn up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Well, at least you know what you're doing. I was doing all that, you know? <laughs> 